welcome to Track Builder Beat Bakers. This is my first episode. I'm gonna make uh, a beat using the MPC 2000 XL. Um, I haven't been using that thing for a long while. Uh, shame on me. But you know, nowadays it's just easier to grab a MIDI controller and do things with that. Um, we're gonna try to make an old school hip hop beat. Um, I'm using an MPC, uh, just some records, and then I'm gonna record it into the door. Maybe I'll get like a synthesizer for the bass or something. I don't know. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. Welcome to Track Builder Beat Vegas. Let's do this. We got the MPC set up. We got some speakers right here. Got my Millennium Falcon t shirt on, so you know it's gonna be 80s style something. At least 90s, because that's my era when it comes to hip hop. I think I know some good drums from at least one record. So let's try to dig out that record. Let's do this. All right, there it is. Let's use this one. Some drums. It's a mighty good hand. Mm -mm -mm. Nice color vinyl. There you go. Oh man, I could use just this record, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Hmm. So let's trim this sample. As you can see, the kick drum starts in the middle of the kick drum, so I need to adjust that. So uh, let's start that earlier. Let's see if I can put the end point right after the kick. Now I got a whole piece of the loop. Hmm. There you go. So now I just now I just got the kick. It's actually new sound. Let's do it. Now I got another kick. So I got. This kick, and I got this kick. I don't know if I can get a hi hat out of this one though, but we'll see. I got three kicks, one that has a bit of an open hi hat on it. So, yeah, we can use this. That's a snare drum right there. But no hi-hats. I think I'm just gonna try to load something from my zip disk. Let's do that. That's a pretty rough hi-hat. I like it. Let's keep it. So let's record on track one. That's gonna be my hi-hats. I like it. So um, let's start recording some more sounds. Let's see what we can dig up and uh, get some jazz in there or something. Let's see. Let's use this one. Weather report. And when you're sampling jazz, don't forget to drink some coffee and eat a stroop waffle. Delicious! That's some good coffee music! To make the spacey more spacier. I use my chaos pad to be able to cut up some sounds and give them some effects so you get this kind of thing. And then it just delays because I cut off the sound but use the delay from the chaos pad. I got some awesome one shots, let's see if it works with the drums. Mm. 
starting to like this beat. It's really jazzy, really tropical quest kind of thing. Really my thing, man. I like that kind of hip hop music from back in the 90s. Let's listen to it a little bit. <laughs> In the days when I was a teenager Before I had status and before I had a nature You could find the abstract listening to hip hop My pops used to say it reminded him of bebop Before I go any further I need some more coffee Yeah Got my uh, MacBook hooked up to the Focusrite Which is hooked up to the MPC Let's uh, put it on 95 BPM and uh, I'll just start with just the hi-hat. Let's record the hi-hat first. All right, so I've got a loop with that. Let's uh, put some snares into it. Five, six, seven, eight. Now just, this is just the snare drum doing his thing all right so the music loops every loop i just record into cubase Now that I have everything in Cubase, I'll chop up the loops and put them underneath each other in different tracks. Let's click there. So now I know that's my zero point of the whole song. So I'll put that right there. And I'll have my hi-hats. Right, so now I'll put this underneath there. I think this might be the kick drum. That's awesome, we can turn this thing off. I don't have to save the samples using my zip disk or anything, because um, I usually am happy with what I recorded in there. If I want to change anything around, I'm going to do it in my door. So uh, yeah, I can turn this, turn this off, uh, and I need the space to put down a synthesizer. synthesizer let's let's see if we can do some weirdness to it as well man because might work in the mix so just an extra layer of some weirdness let's try to record that <laughs> I always like to record some extra noisy stuff in that mix to make it swing, make it crazy. So, um, actually, let's use all this. So yeah, there you have it. I used uh, these two records, Atman from The Good Hand, uh, Weather Report, turned out pretty okay, I think. 
Um, maybe some of you, man, if there's some MCs out there who think they can rhyme to it, man, um, let's, let's hear what you got to say, man. Yeah. But just make sure that you get your cup of coffee and stay creative. Uh, let's listen to this beat, man. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 